Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church here in Hammett. I'm glad you came back to join me today. I want to do a short reading and then just talk with you about it. It's from John chapter 4, and it reads this way. Therefore, when the Lord knew that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, though Jesus himself did not baptize but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again to Galilee, but he needed to go through Samaria. So he came to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied from his journey, sat thus by the well. It was about the sixth hour. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. I want to talk to you about the fact that Jesus Christ is very interested in you, whoever you are. He is no respecter of persons. He is concerned for your well-being, and so am I, and so is our church family. We're living in a very hard time. There's a lot of people that don't know God and haven't been in a personal relationship with him. And I want you to know that you are welcome here. I want you to understand that God cares about you and so do we. I want you to know that if you're in need or if you're needing answers and you'd like to just know the truth about God, if you come here, then you're welcome here. And we, if you seriously want to know, we will take time to answer your questions. So this woman is talking to Jesus and she's kind of surprised because he being a Jew is speaking to her. Um, I certainly hope I don't surprise you if I'm willing to talk to you, but I am. <laughs> the woman said to him, sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob? Yes who gave us the well and drank from it himself as well as his sons and his livestock, Jesus answered and said to her, whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, speaking about the well, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said to him, sir, give me this water that I may not thirst nor come here to draw. So you may be a person who is thirsty, uh, thirsty for a healthy relationship or thirsty because you have some kinds of needs, thirsty because you want to just know the truth about God and about yourself, uh, thirsty because you need some counsel, somebody to help you. I want you to know that you uh, are certainly welcome to come to the Lord Jesus and he will meet you at your every point of need if you just ask him. In fact, in the Bible it says, whosoever comes unto me, I will in no wise cast out. Jesus said that. So um, I just want you to know, we meet on Sundays at 1040 a.m. I would love for you to come and join us. Just say hi, let me know. You watch me on the, on the internet and uh, who you are. Thanks.